hello everybody. We want to introduce you to some new friends. Grayson, what are these? Ducks. Yeah, what kind of ducks? Kathy Campbell. Kathy Campbell. So Grayson got some Kathy Campbells because Aiden has the chickens and Cameron's got the rabbits and everything else. So he wanted to have something to take care of. He's six. So we got Kathy Campbells here. They're a couple weeks old. They're starting to smell kind of bad. So we thought we would help them make their move out to the outside where they belong. So one of the things we have to get ready is we have to make sure that they have a way that they can get water and wash their noses. And so we've got a little brooder and everything set up, but we don't have any good way to water them without them getting in and making a complete mess and dirty. Like, we're not gonna mention that the kids have dirty rooms. Anyway, so we're gonna show you how we make a duck water. So we're gonna go through what you need. First, you need the duck. Here we got the ducks. They're clean. Then we're gonna need a marker. I'll show you a bit. Then you're gonna need a drill with a fancy drill bit or a hole saw of some type. Then you need a bucket. There's the bucket. Any old bucket. I grabbed this one just outside. And then we have the lid rim combination because we don't want the ducks getting in it. So we don't want them going in. So we have a couple hole saws here, different sizes. So this is how we're gonna choose what size we're gonna use. We're gonna make sure we get the right size hole for the duck because we don't want the duck to crawl in the water and get it all nasty because if you've ever seen duck water, it's pretty gross. So I've got these two right here and I think this one's too big. He said it's too big, she said it's too big. So we're gonna see if the duck head will go in there. So it'd be nice and it looks like it might fit. So, hang on the duck. Now we gotta measure the height. Now here's what we're doing with this. Is we take the duck and we figure out, okay, it stands about right there. So somewhere in here is where they need to put their head. So we say Yay? Yay? Don't let the duck get away. What do you say? So, um, yeah. about four inches, three and a half to four inches. Mm -hmm. And the no. goal of this is they stick their head in there, they get their nose wet, get their drink of water, but they can't <laughs> climb in. Let the duck get away! <laughs> that was a very precise mark. You have to make sure you are spot on with this because if it's, if it's off, it's not gonna work. So here's how we're gonna do this. Uh, if you have one of these, this is a Milwaukee, Lennox, Linux, whatever that has them. This chuck works well. So uh, it screws on. Here, we're gonna use a small one. I prefer the ones that have the uh, little, what's that called, the drill guy. And then you don't have to get super tight. And then this thing pushes forward and locks it. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna make sure we're on the kitchen table and everything is nice and dirty because, um, no, don't do that, it's probably a bad idea. <laughs> so we're just gonna line this thing up. Okay, right about so. And you got the first hole. And let's see if the, the duck's head will, I think it'll work. Do we need to make it bigger? No, no, no. Well, it's not gonna crawl through, is it? So careful, careful, careful. So yeah, no, no. see if it, it's about the right size. So here's what we'll do. We're gonna make, what, four holes? Should we do four or should we do six? Twelve. Six. Four of these. When you're making these holes, a couple things you wanna think about. Where are you gonna put it? Where are you gonna put it on? So and so forth. We're actually, put it on the bottom where they can access it. Okay, that's a good idea. How about in the corner? 
Okay, so we're gonna put this one in the corner. If it was gonna be in the middle of something, I would say you could put holes all the way around it so they can access it from all sides, but we're gonna put it in the corner. So we're gonna do a hole here, a hole here, and a couple holes in the middle so that they can get to it in the corner. And uh, we're gonna be really precise with our measurements here. Very precise, I mean, talking machine shop precise. Yeah. <laughs> that is close to being precise. must have gotten dull. That is close to being precise. So, well, we'll pick that up with Chris will pick that up later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> This goes on top. You can buy all this at the Home Depot. Buckets are like five dollars. These lids, I think, are four and a half. And uh, this one was reused from another bucket that is no longer with us. It's dead. Oh, it's dead. Oh. I didn't get that one on there all the way. Oh, careful, careful. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, with the lid on, nothing can get in to make it dirty. Just remember, you can't fill the buckets up all the way anymore, so they're only good for that much. Easy clean out, we'll let you know how they go. Um, if it gets to the point where they can't quite get into them real well, what we'll do is we'll just take a knife and we'll just make these a little bit bigger on the top. They can stick your head Don't want to make them too wide, because as soon as they can get their wings through, they're going to go right on it. You can get so, what do you think? Should we uh, move these ducks out there? Oh yeah, their heads can go yeah. right through. What do you think, ducky? Uh, you I think. I think. Chickens are going to run over here and they have their food and they'll have their water, which Aiden's going to get in the water. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to keep it separate because uh, we got the duck food in here so they can get to it. And then the water right there, and then we're going to release the ducks. Right? Yeah. Yeah. They won't jump. Look at them all. So we've used this brooder for um, chickens and we've had them out there when they're this age and it's been snowing and freezing cold outside and this brooder has two heat lamps in it and then we have another piece of plywood that goes right over the top. Uh, initially we were actually putting plywood down here and covering up with shavings and that was a real mess trying to open it up to make sure everybody was okay so we just put it on top and it seems to be working just fine. So, see how they do. They should do better, way better than chickens. Check out the water. Maybe put a whole bunch of them out here by the water. I'm losing the battle! <laughs> I'm losing! <laughs> They're all going back in. Thank you. 
Oh, there we go. One did it. Two did it. 